this is the actual tank for the dry sum setup. We're gonna be moving this forward. Right now it's currently at the C pillar. We're gonna be moving this forward to the B pillar. As you can tell, she holds a little bit of oil, but let's get this oil into the engine. One of the things that we're trying to address is making sure that there's minimal, minimal to absolutely no restriction in oil flow from the uh, dry sump uh, collection tank here going to the actual pump. So previously mounted a little further back, uh, moving it forward obviously lessens the amount of line length uh, depending on whatever frictional losses there are going through the tubing. Yeah, I mean marginal, but hey, every little bit counts I guess. And so what we'll probably do is run actual an actual complete hard line off the bottom of the tank, uh, this bar sort of approximating what uh, we're probably going to do here. Uh, run it up along the uh, cage and uh, terminate at a bulkhead fitting right where we have it right now. But uh, basically make it that the bottom of the tank is pretty much completely level going to the bottom of the, uh, to the inlet on the pump. So that it's not having to suck uphill or anything like that. And some large diameter tubing. This is one inch, we might even do an inch and a quarter. Um, but yeah, obviously can't collapse the hard lines and be a ton ton of oil in there so hopefully it works out